Hi guys, it's me Andrea. Day 5 of November Daily Art Journal. Yay! And I'm still with it. Um, today I'm drawing again. I start with my pencil here and I thought, hmm, hot pepper, the theme, hot pepper. I couldn't really make my mind up. And then I thought about the words separately, you know, it's hot and pepper. And then I thought, yeah, come on, go with that. You can already see, um, looks a bit like a sun umbrella down there. Yeah. So you will see when I go over everything with my black marker. And I drew, this time I drew it completely out of my mind. I had, didn't have any references, so forgive me. It's not that, um, yeah, it's okay. Let's say it like this. It is okay. I really, really fuzzing around, say it like this. <laughs> but I start now with my marker and it gets more visible what I was doing. You can see this little pepper is laying there on the deck lounger and uh, or deck chair and is enjoying summer heat, whatever it is, what a pepper does. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> so, uh, this morning I was at my art supply store. I, I told you recently that I needed urgently some stuff. And then uh, I loitered around uh, at this Dervant graphics. And I think about buying them for such a long time. I have all that Dervant stuff, you know. I have all markers, I have all pencils. And I like the Dervant stuff a lot. And these are, that's ink stuff. The difference is, it's liquid. You shake it and then, um, like the um, Posca pens, um, you have to here push the tip down to activate it. The, the difference here to, um, it looks watercolory, is that it, it will, when it's dry, it's permanent. Like the... Um, Posca wool, of course, but it's not acrylic paint, it is uh, ink. And it is a very fine tip. Normally, it's not made for huge areas, of course not, but I wanted to try them, and I thought this page is perfect. You have, I don't know how long time you have, you know, this is an unprepared paper, and it will soak in, of course, so it doesn't give you that many minutes of time. But a bit that you can spread it out with a water tank brush. And, um, yeah, I, I really like it. But what I found out is I thought I used watercolour paper here in my little notebook. You know, it's years ago that I made it. I forgot which paper I used, but I think it's um, a drawing paper, I'm afraid, but it works. I started it now, it's the fifth day already, I'm not changing that, but I rather would work in a watercolour uh, journal or on watercolour paper because it's so much more versatile, you know, but it doesn't matter, I will work my way around that. So I try different, uh, yeah, red, I start with a yellow and then an um, orange and a red to get a bit of shading on that pepper, of course. It's a very relaxed pepper. I had pay, um, paint left over here, so I put that on the left side. I don't know why, but yeah, I wanted to, um, wanted to make a double spread, but I do somehow. I don't need the space actually, but yeah. That's it. Um, a few lines here for the sun umbrella, of course. And then I use yellows and oranges for that one. And as I said before, this is a graphic pen. It is not really made for huge areas. But I wanted to give it a go. And I did so. Um, it works fantastically. The lines are very fine and precise, so I really, really like it. And 
yeah, I, next time I definitely work on a watercolor paper. I have to use it definitely on, on watercolor paper and we'll see how it reacts there. This is the white one actually. And I must say, it is pretty, pretty opaque. What's, that surprised me. And um, I go over here, over the eyes. I had black in already. And you can see it covers this black up almost completely. So that you, how, how opaque it is, you can see that. And um, go over the table and the deck chair, but I will go in here with the grays and give that furniture a bit of uh, shading with this colors. And I can work on top on, on, on them without a problem. And uh, I hear the little drink. Of course, the pepper has a little drink laying in the sun. What does it need when you lay in the sun? A cocktail, yeah. <laughs> Um, go over with the black one over the lines and but I go back to my zig marker the nil point nil five to go over all the lines because it I don't have to to um, dry it because the ink of that Durvant graphic marker takes a bit to dry and um, I go over all the lines because I um, drew all them and I need to define them again and then I try or I go on with shading and for that I use the distress markers and put darker colors down and yeah it will be some sort of sand a beach yeah a bit yellow brownish and the sky as well with the distress markers and I use this um, very big brush, water tank brush, and spread it out. So for areas like that, this Durban graphic, they would be useless. And they're, they're actually not made for that. So for the shading here, I use my black Stabilo wall, and I take it off with my water tank brush and bring it down then. And on the bottom as well, the shade. I put that in and I will go over the lines to shade it even a bit darker later with the pen directly onto the paper. A bit of um, blue I scribbled here on the craft mat, the distress marker and take it off with my water tank brush and then go around this umbrella on the lower side to have it a bit darker, a bit more shading here as well. Outside only a tiny bit, not that much. So then I got a bit uh, lazy, can I say that? No, I was in a hurry, no, no, pure laziness. <laughs> I used my um, my gelatos here to and the, the distressed crayons to put a bit of color down. I wanted to have a double spread and I was stupidly putting this ink on there, the leftover ink, but that's okay. So now I use the white graphic to um, highlight stuff, get a bit of lighter areas in, and basically to try um, find out how I can cover up stuff with this white ink of this Marcus. Go in back in with the uh, yellow and the orange to have it a bit darker on the inside of that umbrella and try to wipe it out with my or blend it out with my finger and that gives a cool effect really like that looks distressed and you know I like when it comes to distress I like it <clears throat> so and as I said I go back in with the marker directly onto the paper and uh, shade it and under the umbrella the, the edge as well but that's it and now I will put down the words and that what was came to my mind is it hot here or is it me yeah funny and this is the close up already I have a lot of fun and I think I was a bit afraid about this theme that I thought oh, that says nothing to me but at the end 
I found something and I had fun with it. I had to draw again and I get a bit more comfortable with it. I hope you had fun and don't mind me trying stuff out in these videos. Um, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope I will see you tomorrow again. Have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.